Hey, Dan here, um, and this is a video response to um, uh, Kit in ha uh, Hawaii, who asked me how to set up MIDI controller assignments inside of Granite. Um, Kit also asked about setting up automation in Digital Performer. Unfortunately, I don't know, I've never used Digital Performer. Um, however, uh, I do have a video on, on using Cubase and setting up automation there. And uh, honestly, using Granite is just like using any other virtual instrument. So um, if you set up, if you know how to set up uh, automation assignments inside of um, your respective DAW, whether it's Digital Performer or Logic or um, Pro Tools or whatever, um, or Ableton Live, uh, oh, sorry, Pro Tools, uh, that, that, sorry, Pro Tools people, you just can't use Granite. Um, I don't think that there's an RTAS version of it. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, whatever your respective DAW is uh, that is compatible with Granite, it should be like using any other virtual instrument, setting up your automation. Um, nonetheless, because Granite is also a standalone program, it has a built-in um, MIDI controller learning assignment system that's very cool. And um, you can also do this inside your DAW as long as MIDI controller information is being passed through to Granite. So uh, if you go on over to um, this little uh, assignment knob right here, this little, it looks like a, it looks like a knob icon. You click on that and uh, it'll give you a listing of all of the automatable parameters within Granite. Um, and you'll notice that the they try to keep the um, naming conventions very simple. So the first uh, word is going to refer to the tab that this particular, um, well, I guess at the end here, it kind of gets uh, off there. But uh, anyway, uh, basically this refers to a specific MIDI parameter um, that you can automate. Uh, for example, let's say I wanted to automate the sample start. Um, now, sample start refers to this blue, um, basically this little blue uh, guy right here where, where I take my sample inside of. Uh, and so if I wanted to say automate, this could be something you do in a live performance. Let's say if I wanted to automate this dynamically during a performance or if I just prefer to perform my automation in. Um, and let's say I wanted to use the mod wheel to um, to do this. What I'll do is I'll click on this, the parameter that I wish to um, uh, assign and then I will select learn and now that this is flashing I can move the particular controller on my uh, MIDI controller, in this case my mod wheel and now you can see I am automating the sample start and uh, if I you'll see that the learn is still latched here so if I click that off and I hold down a key. You can see I'm altering the sample start. Now, some other interesting thing that we might be able want to uh, want to do. If I if I'm done with this, I don't want to do that anymore. I, I want to uh, clear that. I can just hit clear, and it will clear out the MIDI assignment. Now, um, let's say I wanted to instead have my filter cutoff um, controlled by my mod wheel. So I'll hit learn here. And uh, I've got uh, MIDI CC1 now assigned to filter cutoff. And then let's say um, I want, um, we'll do my filter resonance. So let's have filter resonance. I'll use expression, which is CC11. And you'll see that it lists the CC number, or the controller number, um, next to it, which helps identify. And then um, I've got 19 on my uh, board here, so we'll do that as well. And um, let me take learn off so it's no longer uh, you know, learning the assignments. And now I can sort of control it. So this could be, you know, a great thing to use in a live situation or if you just you just prefer your 
the sort of physicality of working with your MIDI controller, um, this can be a great way to uh, set up performances and interesting sort of um, uh, sound movement. Um, and it'll, you know, right now I have a, a, um, a uh, right now I'm using a, a Novation controller. It has nine faders and eight rotary dials and uh, mod wheel and um, some other touch uh, pads that I can set up and assign to MIDI CC. So I could uh, potentially uh, control, you know, a couple dozen parameters here if I wanted to. And then that could be a lot of fun to just sort of mess around with stuff. Um, so, yeah, have it at it, and that's how you set up uh, MIDI assignments inside of Granite. And aloha to Kit and uh, anyone else who wanted to uh, learn about this. Thanks.